is uh, the message from Richard. Oh, oh stop it. Yeah. Oh, oh, Rich. Oh, wow. Oh, bloody hell, everybody. Hi, guys. First thing to tell you straight away is oh. I am completely fine. It was what was known as a false alarm. But I had to come out for a couple of hours of medical checks. I'm as fit as a fiddle, in which case I should be back in with you right now. But it's our old friend COVID. I had to come out into the COVID world and I can't risk bringing the bug back in with me and ruining the experience for you guys and the programme and the viewers. So that's it, my event is over. I just want to say how much I love you, and you know I mean that, um, and how much I'm grateful to you for everything you've said and done for me over the last few days. And I'm going to set that WhatsApp group that we spoke about. <laughs> and when you come out, we can all talk to each other again and hopefully meet up for a few of those. Anyway, I'll be watching over the next few weeks and I wish you all the love and luck in the world. I can't wait to see who wins. Oh, my God. Oh, I can't Richard. Really it. <laughs> of course he did the perfect video. Yeah. Of course he did. Of course he did. <laughs> we saw his face. We saw how he was. We saw... Richard back to his cheery, brilliant, funny self. You right? Oh, yeah. It's so good to yeah. see him looking yeah. like that. He was a huge spirit and central core, literally the core of the apple that the apple is built around. Also, he looks like he's had a shower. He looks yeah, so well. very fresh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 he does. And a shave. Oh, well. He's probably had a cup of tea. Oh. He's had some food and a piece of toast. <laughs> he looks better than us. He looks better. Yeah. <laughs> But the good news is, Richard is absolutely fine and we're delighted to say he's here with us now. I'll just remove the thermometer. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's good to normal. see you. How are you feeling? You seem I'm, fine. I feel as fit as a fiddle and yeah. I am fit as a fiddle. And, you know, if it wasn't for Covid, I'd be... I'd be back there, yeah. you know, yeah. eating because rice and beans. because you stepped out of the COVID it's bubble I had to leave and we basically... can't send you back into camp. Exactly right. It's, it's the COVID situation. It's still biting our bums, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what happened was I had just a funny little turn um, in, in quite sort of late in the morning, uh -huh. um, which if it had happened at home, I wouldn't have thought twice about it. But because it happened there, ITV are so good with duty of care, you know, and they were adamant. They said, no, you know, we have to make sure that you're OK. And I said, but I'm OK. You have to make sure. So I went to the local hospital. I was checked. I was only in there for about an hour and a half. I was given really thorough checks and I was given a completely clean bill of health. I'm absolutely fine. No matter what you might have read, I'm absolutely fine. But I did hang on after I was discharged for about 20 minutes because I went to the canteen. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Did I had you? A, what, I had a bacon food? butty. Brilliant. I went to the canteen because that was my first port of call for a bacon <laughs> butty and a, and a huge cup of tea. Oh, it was amazing. You were that hungry, you ate hospital food. I ate hospital food, <laughs> wow. exactly. Yeah. That's how much they don't eat in there. That's so, a, no, that's I'm, a treat. I'm absolutely fine. As I say, if it wasn't for COVID, I'd still be in the game. Yeah, it's I'm a shame. It's a real it's, shame. Oh, I'm gutted. I well, really let's am. talk about your experience in there when you were in there. Now, you knew this show. We've been trying to get you on the show for years. Years. Your son in law, James Haskell, done the show in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've watched every series. Yep. Was it what you expected it to be? Yes and no. Right. Um, obviously, the structure of the show I was really familiar with. But one of the reasons I wanted to do it, um, and, and I said yes this year, as opposed to no and all the years before, was I, I was developing a real curiosity about what it's like actually psychologically. I know mm. what the games are like, because I've done a few and I've been out on the ITV2 show in Australia. Yeah. But I wanted to see what it was actually like, almost journalistically, from, in, a, in a nice way, uh -huh. from the inside. And that was a revelation. Um, I, I learned that the, 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 the psychological pressures on you, I mean, the pressure you put us under when we went into the clink, into the prison. Yeah. Became, uh, yeah. Now, I thought when you said, you're going to spend you're going to spend your first night in the clink. <laughs> and, and I, sorry. It was you, that. Yeah. I, can <laughs> only, I can only apologise. <laughs> he does a very I, good me. And I thought, yeah, that's a funny gimmick for the cameras and for the, mm -hmm. for the audience, but no. It was grim, We wasn't were it? properly in prison mm -hmm. and we were locked in and we were huge gates and it was, it was claustrophobic. That was the intention of the game. You had to make us feel as if we really were in prison and it worked. So the... So I realised that the, the psychological pressure of that and then the other trials and, and the challenges that we were all going through and I was going through, I know it's only television, but when you're in it, it's real. Yeah. You know, it really is. Let's just remind you of the clink because, it, I mean, it, it was horrible, it was pretty grim. Um, uh, and we felt that you were just... Well, now you got into main camp, you were just warming up, but you'd had a pretty rough start in the clink. Let's yeah. just have a look yeah. at it. Oh, what is this? I mean, it looks like icicles are coming off it. Come on, you boy. Oh, man, we're so proud of you. Yeah. Hello, man. I was against hey. an Olympian. It sounds like you got silver. Yeah. We won! Yes! Yeah. I think I'll have this in one go. I just can't go from here into that main camp. You slap me around the face with a wet fish. I do think we should sleep on it. Get us out of here! We... Uh, I mean, it looked bad. Was it as bad 
as it looked? Worse than yeah, it Yeah, it was very It was genuinely cold. It, what was the toughest bit? Uh, night time, sleeping, because we had very mm. thin mattresses, much thinner than in the top camp, uh, and not very warm sleeping bags, really cheap, frankly, sleeping bags, uh, and covered in, in straw, on the floor, very thin, it was freezing in there, we were always cold, we had to get all our clothes out of our bag and put them over us to keep us warm at night. Uh, even though your time in there uh, was cut short, <laughs> uh, you still... <laughs> Uh, so packed a lot in. You did. You packed a lot in, <laughs> and you'd done a lot of challenges and trials. Let's remind ourselves right. of a few of them. No idea what is dropping on us. This is really hard. And she hasn't always won gold, but she's won bronze as well. Mm. Things. The correct answer is six. Rock and roll. Maidley, do not oh, drop oh, this. Not a, Come not on, Dicky. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not making excuses, but it's very hard to get these undone. You didn't seem to be phased by much in there. That's because if you're playing, in my, in, in my experience, if you're playing for meals for some starving campmates who haven't had much more than beans and rice, and there's no salt in the beans and rice, and there's yeah. no pepper, there's no spices, nothing. It's, it's tasteless, bland, you know? Yeah. There nearly was. Naughty Boy brought some in, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, I know he's... That, that, yeah, he's yeah, smuggled yeah, it in his sock. But then he, then he confessed without even being caught. Yeah. I know, what a well, fool! Well, yeah, if you're going <laughs> to smuggle it in, keep it secret. No, um... I don't particularly... I don't have a phobia about, you know, sort of cockroaches and spiders and snakes and rats and things, but, you know, it's, they, 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 don't, they don't bother me too much, right. but I don't like them. But when you're, when you're going for stars for meals, for starving mates, that's all you think about and you don't really notice it. And you were quite disappointed going away from Castle Kitchen Nightmares to only have gotten four stars. Oh, and you, you, you said to us on the night, I hope I get voted for another trial yeah, I so did. I can have another go and yeah. prove that I, can, yeah. that I can do it. I don't think anybody's ever said, I hope yeah. I get voted I meant for another it. trial. I, meant it. I would long to have gone back and done it. Again. Well, listen, we're going to miss you in there. Oh, we're really are. We're, we're, we're devastated. We're, we're, we're gutted. Yeah. Who are you going to miss? Which castle buddies are going to miss? Oh, blimey. I'll miss David. I'll miss Louise. Um, I'll, I'll miss Arlene. Mm -hmm. um, because they're very sweet people. Mm. They really are. And David, you know, he's, he's, he's very macho, isn't he? You know, he's a, you know, sort of a wing man. But he's, um, he's, he's a very thoughtful, kind man. Uh -huh. and, he was, and he was very comforting at times to people. Yeah. Um, I'll miss them all. It's a real shit. We really are going, going to, miss to miss you. The viewers will, we will. Well, I will. What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> thank oh, you, no, Richard. Thank you, thank you for, thank you for, for the opportunity. Great thank you work. for coming to yeah, be a part it. of it this year. We, we, like, as I said, we've been asking you for years and badgering for you for years, and finally we got you this year. But, thank you. Um, well, thanks for asking me. I enjoyed it. Thanks. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs>